Hey, I'm Bowen. We are here at Arcadia in Portland, Maine, and we're going to play an early solid state Bally Matahari. It is completely symmetrical left to right, uh, which uh, creates some interesting caroms and opportunities from each flipper to do the same kinds of things. There's not much to this game, but there's a lot of ball control and a lot to discuss about how to manage the shots that are there. Matahari, apparently some sort of horse racing enthusiast. I mean, even though she sleeps on a tiger or whatever, I don't know. The most important shot in Matahari is that right dead center hole that the ball just squirted out of. You want to basically send the ball back up the middle as much as you can because that shot is bonus advance. It is on the top wall. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> Through there all the way to the top wall and I'm going to try to make that shot to have it go into the saucer and basically there's no rhyme or reason to, to getting this to work it is a tough a tough grab for any any ball and when it's up there you can influence it move around try to get the ball to go where you want it to it is very common for players playing these early solid state games to just watch while the ball is up here you have control up there you can still move the machine around and do something a B is a good thing, but a better thing is to get the Matahari uh, to go into the hole. All right. Uh, this is just buried at the top of a flipper. You can just nudge a little bit and get it to go. And then get in there. There it is. All right. What did that give me? The first time through, it gave me three bonus advance. The second time through, it gives me two X bonus and another three bonus advance. Uh, and it also lights a, a 50,000 on the outlane. So when you get two X bonus or a three X bonus, you're gonna get a 50K on the outlane. Also, there's an important uh, skill move here that is no move at all, but I need to mention it because this is something that's really critical for intermediate players. When the ball is coming to your flipper and it's coming fast, it's a reasonable thing to do to just not flip. Let the ball carry over to the other side for a collect. And there wasn't much I could do there. I could have tried to flip the right flipper or I could have tried to push. But the bonus on this game is important enough. And most of the score is right there. I got 45,000 and um, almost, more than half of it was from that bonus. So let's see if I can get it in that hole at the very beginning. Nope. Matahari definitely a game where like bad things can happen quickly. But bounce overs are key and then gonna get back up top. You can get drop you can get drop catches or live catches, but the bounce over is an extremely consistent choice for skill moves. All I'm really trying to do here is get the ball to the top and then have it settle in that hole. Two X bonus, grab it again, Let's get up there. Three X bonus, nope, bounce over, let it bounce. Give me that. <laughs> get up top, get in your hole. I did that, that was my fault. And now that I have a three X bonus, I have 50 on either side, that's like a super jackpot for draining. Uh, it's still worth going into the top to get to 5x bonus. Bounce over. Get in there. Oh, ruthless. It's ruthless. World War I lady is just like making mad things happen. Come here. Come on, lady, lady from World War I. There we go. All right, now everything is all set. 5X has been achieved. The bonus is almost max. The max is 29,000. Everything advances bonus. Drop targets advance bonus. AB advances bonus. Let's talk about the other goals of the game. The first goal is getting AB. Um, each time you complete AB, you get more points. And if you complete it six times on the same ball, you get an extra ball. Seven times is a special. 
And in uh, competition, that's uh, typically twenty-five or fifty thousand. The other thing, the other major goal is to shoot all the drop targets. The drop targets as a completion score uh, fifty thousand just together. So let me look at AB for a moment first. And also, you can get AB in a couple ways. B, A. Okay, and again. The nudges on this machine, like that nudge right there on this wall, which isn't a slingshot, you have to do that. That put the ball right back into control. A. B. In the hole, don't matter. Bounce over. B. A. No, B. No, A. No, B. Okay, now that I've done it five times, the extra ball is lit, and it's just another A, B to get the extra ball. Of course, now that something important is of value, uh, I start losing my ability to shoot the thing. B. No, A. Oh. Ah! Oh, almost got A that way. There's the A. Okay, and this time in this game, because it's uh, set for arcade play, it is giving me a legit extra ball instead. I'm used to uh, more competitive play where boom, 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 boom. and that special was worth 50k I believe. So that's the run through the AB. The other thing to do is to go shoot for the drop targets and what sometimes happens is you'll hit a drop target on one side, it'll hit the drops on the other side and you'll have fewer shots. You can also backhand them or you can like pretend to backhand them and then forehand them while you're backhanding them. Or you can just, you know, pretend to, to not do the thing and then do the thing anyway. But that is why I don't like doing the drop targets. They are drainers. And I almost got that 50k, but uh, 7 out of 8 is worth almost nothing. Meanwhile, the AB, on the other hand, you're getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5,000 for each. But you should only be doing this once you have uh, uh, racked Matahari, I guess. Uh, that's really not the right thing to say. Um, She's got a knife, so, you know. Um, yeah, so, but you re really should be doing this first and going into that hole as many times as possible. But that was a very lucky ball. Uh, Matahari usually makes the own decisions about uh, li who lives and who dies. And usually it's not you. Oh boy, that was a big mistake, but I saved myself from it. Uh, big belly flippers tend to do that, and uh, the symmetric nature of this game also renders some of the other uh, skill moves a little useless. Like you don't see, you don't rarely ever see any tap passes or alley passes on this game, because the key shot is right up the middle, and right up the middle is almost always the same for both flippers. But what you do see is you see a lot of this, which is sort of hold-ups, and a lot of just let's get in there. There's one. There's two. Ah, almost got that out. Now it's over. There's three. And the four is not there, but you got the super jackpot off of the stuff of the outlane. And still a 3x countdown. Now, this is a pretty decent score, and uh, we're going to just keep this game and, uh, and play it. I have seen uh, several players, including uh, Joe Lemire and uh, Jason Zoller, roll this game over in regulation uh, just by continually knocking down 50s. And uh, it's, it's a little scary, but uh, the strategy doesn't really change. It's how much of this. And here's one more piece of strategy. Drain with zero. If you shoot the ball into play and you don't hit anything, you'll score zero points. You can plunge again. Now, if you drain with 200 points, <laughs> then it's a real drain. So you want to be careful if you're trying to drain with zero that you actually have zero. I have seen it happen many times over where someone tries to drain at zero and uh, the game's like, no, actually, uh, this switch over here triggered there we go get in there that was me i did that 
Yeah. Do it again. No. No. Sorry, my heart. I swear. I swear I'll be nice to you. Bye. Okay. Okay. Back under control. But uh, you've seen pretty much everything there is to see in the game. I'm trying to think if there's anything else to talk about. Uh, the AB uh, on, on different Malaharis can uh, can come around and keep scoring AB if you hit it hard enough. It's meant to kind of whip all the way through this one. And a lot of them don't tend to do that, so you have to make the AB separately. Um, sometimes that top center hole. And <laughs> there we go. Now we've got the ball stuck. Yeah. That was good. Stuck on that railing. Go back into existence. Get me one more of those, please. But you can see that, uh, like, the way this game was built, is, it's hard because that that kicker has to send the ball close to the flippers without going in. Okay, and that, that flip there is worth talking about. Um, when you're out of control, the goal of being out of control is to be back into control. So when I'm down here on this flipper and it's right on my tip, that flip was deliberately aimed at this in lane. By flipping it into this in lane, I'm able to take full control. The other choice would have been to just flip it away and then hope it goes into B, which maybe it would, but more likely than not, it would miss and then be still out of control. So when your ball is out of control, and I'm gonna start putting the ball out of control on purpose now and probably die, but uh, see what happens. We'll talk about regaining control. So there, I can regain control of the live catch. Okay, that's a bad flip. Okay, so that was 50K. And an arcade play, the next time you complete it is a special. there. When it hits that in-lane, out-lane post, I'm giving it more energy to try and push the ball out of the area completely. It's not a question of going in the end-lane or in the out-lane. Yeah, the out-lane's 50k, but I'd rather have my ball and more opportunity to score. Okay, so that was a poor choice, but there was a better one. And there was another choice of setting those flips. Ah! But the flips are meant to be in this control area. The more you do with that, the better off you're going to be and the less often the ball will be put out of, out of consideration. The, the, the early 80s and uh, late 70s bally machines are fantastic for this. Uh, Matahari being a prime example. Ba -ling, ba -ling, ba -ding, da -da -ding. Well, I uh, hope you enjoyed this. Uh, it's, it's great to play here at Arcadia. Uh, the games are in fantastic condition here. Thanks as ever to the backers at Patreon. Uh, if you'd like to join us, go to patreon.com slash pinball. And uh, thank you so much for watching. Take care.